has been a hard-fought series thus far, and it could come to an end here in game number six tonight. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Ronick's last play was a tough one, James. He loses his balance, which makes it difficult for him to corral the puck and get it off with precision. But he makes the play. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. And now it's grabbed by Luch Davich. Redirected off one of his own line mates there. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, stick save to the puke. Bennington's made a big save early in the frame here, and that's really important to reset and refocus coming off that blowout loss in that playoff game. Important to really find a way to gain that confidence and composure and get a good start. The Canucks move it ahead. Fires it on net. Fantastic save! Now, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Answered the call there. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts to score! All over the rebound, and tucks it in for the goal. He burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Goalie looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. Vancouver's got to be pleased with the way they've started tonight. Look at this. Already the first goal of the game and just trying to take that crowd out of it. Well, yeah, and that's exactly what they've done. And that would have been the message from the coach earlier today, James, because you want to make sure that you set the tone. You control the pace of play and you find a way to get on the board first. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. Dumps it in. St. Louis looks to get things going now with the puck. Battle along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Great save! Scores! I got two words for you. New game. Yeah, it certainly is, James. And who's going to come out on top on the beginning of this face-off? You want to be able to get that puck in the offensive zone and find a way to continue to attack. in the period as we approach the midway mark. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And off the face off, they take possession. Here's a short pass to Prober. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Directs it on over to Neighbors. Slides it across. Way too much congestion blocks that. Possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. St. Louis will go to work here in the offensive end. Big time stop there. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. The Canucks take it along the wall. Broken up with a stick. Great save by the goaltender to stay with that tip. I love how aggressive he plays the shooter on the inner slot here, James. He knows that he's got to take away the net, so he gets out and challenges to make the save. Taken by Myers. Feeds the puck over. I really like the save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all 
alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. St. Louis has it against the half wall. Passes it over. And he slides it quickly to Proberg. Handles the pass. Oh, what a save in front. Moves it to DeBrusque. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Hoaglander's got it along the wing. gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We got a tie game. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Stopped by the goaltender. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. St. Louis wins the faceoff. Fox got the puck in his own zone. St. Louis plays it along the wing. Good defensive effort to put it away. Slides the puck to Miller. They've got numbers. Chelsea off the puck. They fight for it along the boards. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. And a smart heads up play with the bank. Denied by the goaltender. And that's off a stick. DeBrusque stick handling in his own zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Quick feed to Joseph. He carries the puck up along the wing. Offside the call will get a reset. Moments away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice faceoff. And he maintains possession of the puck here. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Slides it diagonally to Krug. They've got numbers here. Yep. Here's a pass in front. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Vancouver's ready to go on the attack. The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. And that pass is redirected. Sends it over to Thomas. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. And now it's grabbed by Garland. Scrum ensues along the boards. The Blues gain control of the puck. He got all of that one. The Blues have it behind the net. Dishes it off. Denies that opportunity. Stop. <laughs> has jumped in front by one here in this first period. Well, uh, this is exactly where you want to be. It's better to be ahead than be behind. Now you got to garner up some momentum off of it. Continue to stay aggressive and see if you can get another one. Takes the puck at the point. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Looking to set up offensively. Sends the pass in front. Can't connect the play. The Canucks would love to go into this first intermission all evened up as they trail here despite outshooting the opposition. Vancouver's won the draw and they'll go to work. And that's blocked away. St. Louis is across the blue line. The Blues will play it against the boards. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick pass to Heinen. Into the middle of the neutral zone. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Letty. Here we go, on man rush here. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Nice zone entry from the left. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Broberg. Moves it to the offensive zone. 
Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. And now he angles it across to Bluger. What a steal in his own end. Tosses it to Folk. And he slides it quickly to Shen. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Takes it low. Scores! Slowly gets the good save by the Bell there. throughout this game, now down by a few. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. to an end as you heard the horn sound. We'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Just moments away from puck drop for second period action. And the puck is dropped, fans scrambling back to their seats for period number two. Well, Cheryl, how do you send this one up for the first 20 minutes? The Canucks need to find their legs, James. There's no urgency, and they really haven't been skating at all. They've been chasing the game. They've had zero possession time. They've got to find a way to carry the puck and get some opportunities. Hughes looks around. St. Louis looks to move the puck from their own end. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Here's a short pass to Bushnevich. Now a quick pass to Kairou. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Demko. We got a stoppage as the puck sails over the glass. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Blues have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. Hughes takes it inside his own end. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Oh, my goodness, that was the only thing that prevented that from going in. St. Louis continues to put the pressure on, and I love that they're a wave in the offensive zone, shift after shift, looking for a time to bite and execute. But man, could they get a little more luck to continually going off the post. Takes it and looks ahead. The Blues played along the boards. Sends the pass down low. Slides the puck down low. Here's a blast! Big time save and a big time shot! Moves it to Pedersen. Takes the feed from his own end. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Puck picked up by Shen. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Oh! And through the chaos, they score! Oh, it's chaos, it sure is, but this is going to get weighed off with all the bodies in front. This is definitely goaltender interference. Well, clearly not happy with the ref's decision, but they'll have to play on with this face-off. Vancouver's won the draw in the neutral zone. From off the wall and onto a stick. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Taken by Neighbors. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Quick feed to Susie. Dumps it in. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. And now he moves it to Letty. Puts it on there. Huge stop by Demko. Demko's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Still lots of time left here in this frame. 
The Blues have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. Here's a chance! Denies him in close! What a save! I mean, how quick do you have to be to be able to get on that puck, James? Anytime it's in the low spot, you got to be on your toes, and that's exactly what he was to be able to make the save. The Blues have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. Miller's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes the feed from the left side. Fires it! That's blocked by Bennington. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. St. Louis has the puck here off the faceoff. Vancouver's on the attack. And he puts it away to make the save. Bennington's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage. But his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. The Canucks take possession off the faceoff. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Brave hits on play with the stick by Joseph. St. Louis brings the puck in from center. Moves it to the middle. What a chance, but they can't connect. And now he moves it quickly to Besser. And he takes the pass. The Blues gain possession. And that's knocked away. Dishes it to DeBrus. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. And it's kicked away. And that'll free up the puck. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Puck scooped up by Joseph. The Blues take it across the line. He's got a step. Oh! Just look like indecisiveness there, Cheryl. Yeah, and a lack of confidence as well, James. When you're in all alone, you have to know exactly what you want to do, and you have to play with authority. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Blues are up 3-1. Pedersen's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Pedersen's won the draw, and they're on the attack. Looks to make a play over to Torpchenko. Takes it into the slot. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The Blues take possession here inside the offensive zone. And will play on as that goes off the outside of the post. St. Louis has had puck possession and generated a ton of opportunities in the offensive zone. They ring another one off the post. And He's got a chance. He scores! Oh, wow, what a play! Well, he uses his speed to break away from his opponent and reads exactly what the goaltender is giving him to be able to convert. What a beautiful play. Well, this breakaway is perfectly executed, James. He knows his bread and butter is his great shot. He sees an opening and he takes it. something with it, not just hanging out on the perimeter. St. Louis wins that face off at center. That's a great heads up play to break up the pass. Here's a chance. Oh, look at the pass. From behind the net. Still has possession. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Moves the puck. Across the line from center. 
Tarpchenko's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Great reach with the poke check by Myers. Quick pass to Holloway. Backtracks with the puck, but maintains possession. Moves it quickly over to Kairou. Takes it from the right side. Takes the shot. Turns it away. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Blues just recently adding to their lead. They're now up by three. The Canucks win the draw. Feeds it over. Here's a shot. And that carries off one of his teammates in front. Gets the puck in deep. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Suter. Passes it over to Myers. Loses his balance on the play. Here's a shot. And kept that one out of the net. Slides the puck across to Thomas. Gaining momentum up along the side. Sends it in on the attack. Tries to feed it over to Sherwood. Less than a minute to go here in the second. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Slides the puck ahead to DeBrusque. Moves it to Miller. Slides the puck over. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. now 40 minutes in this one and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played go stretch your legs grab that final snack because the third period is just around the corner fans are buzzing teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third it's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third to see if anything changes well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Show your assessment so far. St. Louis has driven play through 40 minutes of it, and they just have to continue that push through that third period, James. They want to make sure that they have the same energy to end the game as they had when it started. Lots of time left in this period. 4-1 is where we sit. A pretty one-sided affair. The Blues looking against the half wall. The Canucks look to start the transition game. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Still keeps a hold of it. Oh, a clutch save! A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. St. Louis has won the defensive zone draw. All oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Slides the puck to Kairou. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Oh, he missed the net. Uh, I think he does a great job of getting to position here, James. Be able to get that shot off. He gets it off fast and quick. He just misses wide. Poked away in the defensive end. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. Quick feed to Pareto. Oh, and he reaches out with the club save. Wow. Slides the puck across to Garland. St. Louis has possession of the puck. Big hit along the boards. Well, he was so aggressive on this one, James. He recognizes that he's got to close and then shoulder on shoulder. This is a clean hit and disrupts the player from the puck. That's a beauty. Sunfist won it off the faceoff. Joseph's lugging the puck. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Neighbors is such a creative player. If he sees an opening, you know he's going to take it. He's an aggressive soft player. It's oh! Right on the doorstep. The rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. 
actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. Vancouver's clearly sending a message that they're not going to roll over in this one. With a two-goal deficit, they have to have desperation and urgency. They'll need two players on the puck at all times. Retrieval to possess the puck is necessary. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. The Blues have the puck in the corner. Quick pass to Joseph. Huge steal in his own end. Here we go, two on one. Sends it across. Oh, what a save! Pennington's got it, and the officials blow the play down. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. Vancouver's won the faceoff. Turned aside with the glove by Bennington. Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. The Canucks have played well tonight, creating all sorts of scoring chances, but they still trail here in the third. St. Louis has the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And that goes off course off a of body. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Vancouver's looking to break out. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Miller is such a great player, James. He's got great hands and inside skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. It's 4-2. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Holloway's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Makes a save. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. Suitors want it in their own end. Moves it over to Heinen. Change up, change up. Here's a shot. Pennington's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been one of their best players all night. A reason why they're leading here in the third, James. But it's not just about the save. It's about managing the puck and making the decisions when to hold on. Pedersen's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. More than half the frame has been played here. St. Louis has been the more impressive squad tonight as they have a 4-2 lead. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And the play continues. Oh, what a stop as he uses his power to swat it away. Hook it up with the stick in the defensive end. Slides it across. Takes the puck behind the net. St. Louis on the attack. Here's a short pass to Joseph. Oh, and he has the answer there with a fantastic stop. Tap dances around the check. Vancouver's got the puck. Pass to Strong. Tries to get it to Garland. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Oh, that goes off the mask, and it stays out. Well, fortunate for him that these masks are made so well nowadays because he just got his bell rung. Vancouver's been the better team tonight, in my opinion, but still, they trail here in the third period despite having the advantage in shots. Slides it across to Kairou. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Oh, great save there! Demko's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Falk. And reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. Loose puck battle along the boards. 
Tries to get it over to Thomas. Slides it to Kairou. Sends it into the offensive zone. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Moves it to Myers. Takes a shot. An easy save by Bennington. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Nice job tying up his opponent. And that goes wide. The Canucks need to find a way to get rewarded for their offensive prowess in this game. Listen, they've had a good one. They've created chances. They just haven't capitalized. Back to the blue line. This offensive zone faceoff. Off the draw, they take possession. Hughes carries the puck in his own zone. The Blues have it from their own end. Sends the pass over. And it's a quick pass to Neighbors. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. The Blues played along the wing. Puck grab by Sundus. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. From the place 99 made famous. A chance in front. And that's stopped. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Canucks need to find a way to convert one here late as they trail on the third. Won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. That knocks him off the puck. Quick feed to Tork Tempo. Under a minute to go in the third. Oh, what a stop by Tempo. Oh, and another save. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Just here in the late stages of this frame, 4 2 is the score. That's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. The Canucks have it now. Quick pass to Hoaglander. Oh, he rattles off his cage. That's not a header in soccer, but is a shot off the mask. Either way, it's a save. The Canucks will take it behind the net. Here's a shot, and that carries off a body in the lane. Letty's moving it ahead. Towards the gaping net, and it goes wide. Quick pass over to Dayarnay. Feeds the puck across to Forbort. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard fought effort this evening. That is a lonely cage at the other end of the ice here, Cheryl. Well, it certainly is, and an extra attacker on the ice. Possession is critical. Got to win this faceoff. Back to the point it goes. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Thank you.